Welcome back to Lego Man Cave. We got a new sign and it is epic. So my new sign arrived today. Metal as well. So I've just gotta fix that. I've just gotta fix that onto the wall. But for now it can just sit there. In the last video we saw Rainbow Hotel and we also saw Chris's Chippy. Uh, what else? We got all the street lights done and paving, the new road plates, so everything's looking a hell of a lot better there. However, there is one more thing I have done since then, which I'm going to show you now. If you notice, where's all the food vans gone? And what is that doing there? I've built a little food van area. So, we were waiting for some parts to finish, obviously, all the gaps there and the gaps around there and if there's any other gaps in the paving which i think by the looks of it i've already sorted but yeah we've got that ready and now the delivery has arrived so we've got dark tiles we've got light gray tiles we've got small light gray tiles we got loads of two by one plate. We've got a load of two by two plate. And we've got some more 16 by 16s so we can get some more building done. Yes, mate. And just like that, my inventory has filled up a little bit more on the parts for the city. And now to place the last piece. Ta-da. And then all the path all the way down is done, even down here. So it looks a hell of a lot better. And I've finished up around the portal loop as well. So we are finally getting the pass finished. So next on the agenda, we've got one, two, three, four, and a bit that we've got to fill up. I think this I'm going to put here somewhere, but Obviously, just looking at it, it needs to be slightly modified. So until I decide what I'm going to do with that, that will just sit as it is. But I can always plate off these and then at least it will look a bit tidier. All right, so just one pack of them plates has covered that bit. And then some random blue just to fill the last little half. Right, so what is next for the Lego Man Cave City? Right, so you saw it earlier. I've decided this is what I'm going to work on next, and I've done it. So it is now solid all the way around, and I've even filled the inside and attempted to make it modular as well. So we should be able to lift these off. There we go. So there's the first one done. We've got the table with an extra chair because one was missing. We've got a computer, aim, danger. The uh, Loki staff or scepter, whatever you want to call it. Jarvis on the other screen, not that you can see it very well. We've got a wheelchair and we've also got the um, one of the infinity stones. Ah, yes, I was meant to put something else over that side, but I'll get round to that. But there's the first level done. Then the second level, I've just moved that computer back a bit, gave it a chair, put a plant in there as well. And then we've got an aim droid, like the Stark Tech ones. There you go, you can see it a lot better there. So that's in that side, being tested on. And then there's the computers for that. I've even changed and put an extra doorway in it's come back four stood so i've added a wall and put a back onto it as i say fits beautifully modular added a couple of more at the front just so that it's level but obviously the windows can still open and close to give that angle uh tiled off the back of the roof just so that it obviously matches just like that, and she is done. Oh, hang on, we're missing one thing. And that is the 
aerial to go on the top. Loki scepter and a little danger canister just to finish off that area. So, bing bang bosh, let's put it back together. Hard to do one handed when you're trying to record. Push it down, put the roof back on, pop, pop, and she's done. Now you might be wondering where we're gonna put it. Are we gonna put it here? No, I thought of a different idea because if it's still gonna be like a little Avengers base, we don't want it right next to Avengers Tower or the Sanctum. We have nothing over here, so it can fit beautifully in that spot right there. And then it just fills up a little bit more and then we got Sandman, who we could put outside the coffee shop, breaking out the ground to try and break into the little Avengers base. Love it. Push down nice and firm in place. And that fills that gap. I'm actually quite chuffed with that. And if the Avengers that will eventually be in there ever want a cup of coffee, they've literally got to go across the path. And then they'll have a coffee. And if they ever run out of groceries, they've got Asda next to it. It's brilliant if they need to get on the train to come round to Avengers Base, or Tower, shall we say. Oh, mate, I am absolutely stoked with that one. Yeah, next thing is trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that base, but that might just end up staying as a display. So while I'm stood here, looking at my Lego City, thinking of how I want to do it, what other people have done to give me inspiration and ideas. I mean, mine is slightly different to other people. I have got a bit of an OCD type thing with it. Everybody else is all very cramped and busy. And yeah, I like a bit of space in mind to be able to work with and decide what I'm gonna do. I think we're really, really close now to starting to add minifigures and then maybe some vehicles. I have considered adding a bike path, but at the same time, it's one of those that I haven't exactly got a lot of push bikes to make it worth doing. Uh, it could always put the push bikes either on the path or on the road. I mean, like it was not even a couple of years ago that the, uh, the roads in Birmingham, at least, didn't have cycle paths. You used to ride on the road like everybody else. But it is what it is. Oh, I've just realised I've got a tree that's uh, missing. But yeah, so I'm thinking the last few things I need to do, maybe, would be for, like, uh, green areas. So if I could kind of sort out round here as green... Uh, finish off this area, try and get some green on these areas here. But obviously, I haven't got no more green at the moment. But it's just like the odd final little details. Plus, I need to decide what I've got to finish building on this path here. Am I keeping the van there or am I going to move it? You know, again, how would that get there or how would that get there when there's no roads? You know, some things you've got to try and think realistic, but at the same time, it is toys, you know, pure and simple. We have access, access, access to get from this side to the main side anyway, but that's for pedestrians, not for vehicles. Okay, it could be push bikes or motorbikes, whatever could possibly come over this way, or skateboards, but... Yeah, maybe that vehicle just magically appeared. You never know. But I'm not adding a load more roads just to make it look a bit more practical. Eventually, I want to get some more bricks and carry this tower on different colours. The only white, I was saying in my video, the reason I've had to do red with that is because the only white bricks I've got, there's not enough to do that anyway, but what I have got are really battered, sun-damaged second-hand bricks. So if you look at this, for example, you can see it's not exactly crystal white, but I can get away with that. I just don't want it looking tatty when all of them would be worse than that on the back, even though 
you're not really going to see it, but you do at the same time. Uh, the interiors I need to work on next. One, two, three, and four. So I might start working on interiors next. If I'm going to do interiors on these as well, then that's another one. So that's something else I can work on. But again, is minor details. If you've got any ideas what you want me to build here, drop a comment down below. Let me know. See what parts I've got available. I am starting to become limited on the available bricks. I do need to massively restock, but funding is a bit of an issue at the moment. So just having to work with what I've got. I can get like the odd few bits to say finish the paths and what have you, but to get the actual bricks I need, I need to buy bulk boys. Plus I've also got that X mansion coming, which obviously is not cheap. And I'm thinking of putting it there. Also considering, do I wait until maybe February, March and see if AliExpress gets it and then I can buy two of them for the price I'd get one official Lego. You know, it, it's a lot of money for what it is, but again, I really, really want it. So any ideas what you think I should do in the city next, drop a comment down below, let me know. As I say, people will be coming soon and then vehicles to follow. Uh, just got to do a few more trees, but again, that part's has run low. Everything is running low. Everything is in the city. I need to start topping up. I have also found a website with these minifigures and oh my god, they look epic. So this is one that I've designed of me. And then I've also got one of Loki in his Yeet t-shirt and one of Courtney that she designed herself as well. So I'm umming and ahhing, 13 quid each plus obviously shipping, do I get those special figures for the Lego City? But thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.